The oil fields workers trade union says the TNTEC board has fallen on the job as the company has recorded its first COVID-19 case. Vice President Peter Burke is not happy with the response from the company. Ian Wayson explains. Vice President of the Oil Fields Workers Trade Union, Peter Burke, is not happy with how employees at the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission got word of a COVID-19 threat amongst them. He said the workers didn't get the news from the management, but from another employee who was traced as a contact of the patient. We find this to be irresponsible, um, not only because they failed to let the union know. He described the response as slow, saying the infected work area was not cleared immediately, nor was it sanitized. He said Tiantec has not taken proactive steps to protect the health of workers with the proliferation of new cases. Mr. Burke said there is no rotation policy in place. They have everybody exposed. So you can have a situation where an exposed worker will meet, will mingle with, with, with ongo ongoing shifts or vice versa and spread it. He noted that while we wait for the new government to be installed, the previous administration still has a responsibility to fulfill. We feel that given the nature of the crisis and the euphoria of the election victory, that people have a job to do and they have to continue. Because all the good work um, for, March, for April, May, June and part of July can be thrown down the drain if we drop the ball now. The union maintained that TNTEC's management is putting staff at risk with their tardiness and irresponsibility. Ian Wayson, TTT News. And responding to the allegations of the OWTU, Acting Corporate Communications Manager of TNTEC, Claire Cooper told TTT News the management observed all the protocols and guidelines from the Ministry of Health. She said TNTEC's management was in direct contact with a secondary contact who was sent on quarantine. She clarified further that the communications department sent out an internal release to staff who were notified of the developments. She said the TNTEC management continues to address the situation.